And welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to this video. This is a quick response video to Madhead Doctor and Pro Black Chris. Now, I listened to Madhead Doctor's video in response to Chris, and I was debating him in the comments section because I agree with everything Chris, Pro Black Chris, said about white supremacy. And I'm here to add to what he was saying. Now, many people in the comment section was telling me how successful black people is in this country and how blacks could do anything they want, which is a myth. Some blacks are doing well and others are not doing well. These black people fail to acknowledge that there is uh, white supremacy. They fail to uh, acknowledge it. And Chris, poor black Chris, acknowledges the fact that there's a global supremacy that's dominating African Americans and black people overseas and keep them in bondage mentally and physically and you have a lot of these people trying to put these facts up now here's one fact that Madhead and some of his uh, friends fail to forget number one black people are poorest race of people in the United States they have the, the least opportunities, and they're still fighting for opportunities in this country. These are facts, because if that wasn't the case, you wouldn't have ministers and activists, social activists, fighting for black rights. But black people are the poorest next to any other race. Facts. Most black men are incarcerated in the country, in this country. Facts. Whether they committed crimes or they're criminals, you have a big disproportion of them in prison. Those are facts. Then you have the police killing black people, gunning them down for no reason. Facts again. So, then you have um, the money part, banking system. The bankers, like black farmers and black business people, cannot even get loans from banks because of the color of their skin. Facts again. So, do I need to say more? All this stuff that I'm saying is absolutely true about the white supremacy going on in the United States. Um, if that was the case, you wouldn't have Donald Trump rising through the through the poll numbers because of his racial rhetoric. Now, a lot of you black people are mad because a man like pro black Chris is telling you stuff that I've been saying and many other black people been saying for a lot of years that global white supremacy is real. It's real, and this is documented when they captured black people from Africa. Now. A lot of people were saying in the comment section about Indians and other races. Again, they have more rights than black people. They acknowledge the fact that they murdered Indians. They acknowledge the fact that they treated Irish people wrong. They acknowledge the fact that they treated Italians wrong. They acknowledge the fact that they treat many races wrong and gave them some sort of reparations. People of African descent has yet to even reach those benefits. We don't even get that. They gave us a black president, maybe some black politicians time and time again, and maybe even some celebrities. But then I'm listening, looking at the comments, and they're saying, like, that's a big deal. Like, oh, that's a bone. Okay, you have Oprah Winfrey. Whoopie do. We don't have five Oprah Winfrey. See, I'm, I want the whole enchilada. I want people of African descent to have more than just one person to look up to. We want five Oprahs if we can. Um... That's number one, uh, two in my argument. Number three, you want more black college students because you don't have a lot of them. So again, when we have people saying that there's no supreme white supremacy and there's no global racism going on, is living in a total fantasy land. And I know that I'm right because the numbers speak. All people got to do is go to the CDC, go to the statistic reports, the Census Bureau, and you can see uh, what I'm talking about. Poor Black Chris acknowledged the fact. Now, a lot of people may not like what he said because, again, he's whistleblowing. So this is my advice to Chris. Now that you've pointed out the truth about white supremacy, you will be attacked by agents of white supremacy now. And you don't talk about agents. That means black people uh, being with the dominant uh, uh, the dominant global supremacists 
because anytime a black ignores white supremacy is either working for them or pushing their ideology. And those, these are facts. It's hard for a black men to get successful because you have, uh, you have Caucasian people keeping them from achieving those goals. That's why you don't have successful black men. That's why black men go and they start selling dope on the streets because how are they going to make money? These brothers can't make money off of nothing. Only the blacks with silver spoons in their mouths make money. Black people who already have parents that got money, not in terms of the 10, takes care of their kids. But what about the black families who don't have that kind of money? They live in the projects. They live in the ghetto. What about them? They keep them down. In their neighborhoods and ghettos, they purposely move businesses, businesses out of the ghetto so that African-American people can't get jobs. That's why they move these businesses out of the ghettos and then make them become a desert wasteland is what they do but these black people want to fool you into thinking that oh well uh they're lazy and they're not pulling the bootstrap no a lot of brothers out there and sisters that sell a dope on the streets and i don't hate on them it's because they don't have no money and because they don't have no jobs and because they don't have parents or relatives that could back them up so they got to make money the best way they can <laughs> i never had to do i never had to sell drugs or do the stuff that they do, but I understand. I've mentored young brothers out there and sisters. See, most of these people that's going to attack me, they've never mentored nobody. They don't know the history. They just look at the news and say that, oh, they need to go get them a job. But it's not easy like that. A lot of these brothers that got money, and I don't hate on people either. If you're making money, and this is a thing, if you make money, your parents made money, or grandparents made money, they have a right to do what they want to do with their money. Because again this is America so you could do what you want to do when it comes to your money but don't try to fool people and shame brothers out there that's in the dope game or sisters that have to handle their business by different means so let's not try to shame all these individuals that's all I'm saying because there's a global supremacy that's having these people to do what they're doing and again shout out to Chris because Chris kept it real and don't let these other African American people shame you into your opinions because they're uh, pushing an idea either, it's one of two things either they really believe in that ideology the supremacy ideology or they got parents that got money or they rich kids they didn't pull up the bootstraps like some of us had to do see I pulled up my bootstraps I knew how to survive in this jungle Unlike these other blacks that don't know how to survive in the jungle, where they got people that's automatically taking care of them. I survived in the jungle, and I keep surviving in the jungle. But they have never survived in the jungle. Only only people that survive in the jungle knows about the supremacy, why these uh, people sit on their thrones telling lies that, you know, there's no such thing as supremacy. And our race is the lowest race in this country, because that's why it gets ignored. So... Like and share this video, people, and I'm going to have a part two and a follow-up. Peace out.